So the best way is don't let your mouth line up with your symptoms. Mm -hmm. Let your mouth line up with what God said. Mm -hmm. Don't let your mouth line up with your symptoms. Let your mouth line up with what well, God said. Yes. Well, how do I do that? Change was in your heart. Amen. Thy word have I hid in my heart, David said, that I not sin against you. So how do you get the word in your heart? Now, what way to get the word in your heart is study. Amen. And I advised this some years ago, study by topics. Amen. And start where you are. If you have trouble, if you have trouble, if you have trouble with believing God, read everything in the Bible about the people that believe God. Thank you. So, you understand know what I'm saying? Read about Abraham, read about Isaac, read about Jacob, read about everybody in the Bible that exercised faith in God. Amen. Until you got a clear understanding in your head. And then start acting out what you see. Amen. 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 Once you start doing that, then your faith. Now listen, everybody has faith. Stop saying you don't have no faith. You got faith in something. Amen. Maybe the wrong thing, but you got faith. Amen. Take that faith and put it in the right one. God. Amen. Amen. Now watch it work. I'll be stopped going right there. That's a million dollar statement. I just gave you the whole money. Why are y'all looking at me funny? You go pay them other folks, they don't do nothing. Right. 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 They don't feel the same way you feel. Amen. I'm giving something you can overcome with. Amen. Now, let's go over to the uh, third chapter of the book of St. John. And I'm going to look at a, a love scripture. I'm, I'm going to talk about love today. I told you I would use that Valentine's Day thing. Yes. I'm going to talk about love today. It might make some people happy and glad and delivered. Amen. So remember, send that off Amen. Amen. Why? Because I need you to react to what God is doing. Because if you don't react to it, that means you push it away. Amen. I don't care. And somebody said, well, why you got to send an offer to do that? Because I won't know if you did or not. <laughs> Amen. 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 verse But God so loved the world, loved the world, mm -hmm. that he did something. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So y'all got that on me. I'm talking to you now. I gotta hear but God so loved the world that he did something. Y'all need to listen. But God so loved the world that he did something. Amen. But God so loved the world that he did something. Mm. Like, Where's the epistle of John? Third chapter. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. But God so loved the world that he did something. First Peter John, third chapter, 18 verse. My little children, and, and but I'm still teaching you how to fortify yourself in God, if you don't know that. But I'm dealing with an issue mm -hmm. that is so pertinent to you being able to be strong in God that people have neglected it thinking they were doing. And that is why they're so weak when it comes down to God. And people get mad at me when I say certain things, but they can get mad all they want to because I'm all over from God. Mm -hmm. If you got to have body God, where's your faith? Your members can't have body God. Well, yeah. I need to let it soak in. I got to have all these people standing around me trying to protect me. What about my members? Thank you. We as leaders are supposed to lead by example. So what am I showing my members? Mm -hmm. They can't afford to pay me. 
In the reality of it, they might, the leader that's doing that might not even stay in them. They might be just making them volunteer to do it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm telling you to trust God to take care of you. But I'm using people to protect you. I'm packing to protect me. Well, but the word they break in the church and shoot you, I'm going to be with Jesus. Amen. Because they got to shoot me first. If anywhere I can get between them and the members, they're going to shoot me first. I'm not going to let them shoot the members before they shoot me. All right. Well, what you going to do? You're going to just run them. If I wanted to, I probably could take them out by five seconds. But if I do that, I'll be the lost who I am. I'm not going to be me. Amen. I'm gonna be Jesus. Amen. So if the Lord don't stop them, then they just shoot me. Amen. Ooh. Hello. Thank you, Lord. That's a fact. I still y'all can see me lift my leg many times standing in the pulpit. I still move really fast. Because when I was young, I just hurt from it. <laughs> <laughs> Not lately, but you know, I for a while there I didn't work on me, but I'm fine now. I can move fast and not be hurt by it, but I still can't do that. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He that seek to save his life will lose it. Amen. Mm -hmm. you, you, live, you live by the soul. Yeah. You die by the soul. I trust God to take care of you and me. Amen. I trust God those angels will jack folk up. Amen. Why? Because I know God. Amen. Amen. Now, what if it don't happen? I can go get Jesus. Amen. Is that a bad thing? No. Nope. I don't want to be wrong with people. I've been this way since I was saved. I didn't just get that. I was saved at an early age in my teens. And it didn't matter to me. If you kill me then, I was going to be with Jesus. Amen. I didn't fear death then. I don't fear it now. Amen. So you're late. Amen. That's because you're old. That's why you don't mind dying. The devil is alive. I didn't mind dying when I got saved. I did before him, but I didn't mind after I got saved. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I know it's going to take time. Y'all come. Y'all comfortable, please. <laughs> so he said, my little children. 18th verse, third chapter, pray for the devil. You know the connection now. God so loved that he gave. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, let me hear you say it. Let me hear you say it. What I just say? God so loved that he did what? Gave. I know y'all want to keep going with the rest of it, but I just want to get that part out. Right. God so loved that he gave, he did something. Amen. That's what I need you to understand from that verse, third chapter of St. John, 16th verse. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed, which means in action, mm -hmm. and truth, that means sincerity and honesty. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I say? Amen. And the thing that is happening today, that love had just become a word. Amen. Every about. Father, we're grateful and thankful for the opportunity to share what you put in my spirit. I pray, Lord God, that you will strengthen us in the things of Christ, that we'll be this child that you're looking for these last and evil days. But thank you for the Holy Spirit that I've already believed that he is removed, he's convicting us right now in the name of Yeshua, that we may lay aside everything that's of the world and of the whole life and put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill its desires. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being who you are and allowing us to be your children. And you're sure Jesus of Nazareth's name, I pray. They want to say amen. 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 So God is revealing to us something here. There are too many people that they love is taken. Mm. And they love you as long as you're doing for them. They love you as long as you treat them the way they want you to treat them. They love you as long as you being kind, being nice, speaking to them the way you're supposed to speak to them, and this kind of stuff. But that's not love. Nope. There's another full letter word in the English language that that's what that is. Amen. It's lust. Amen. It's a desire to hang. Did y'all hear most people equate lust, L-U-S-T, with sex, but they're wrong. Lust is a strong desire Amen. to have. Mm -hmm. So when people say that they love you, that means if they really love you, they want to do for you. Amen. 
not use you. Amen. No telling how many people are being used today. Yes. And last night, yes. and probably Friday night. Because the, the, the so called loved one gave them a gift or something, or did a deed. But it's all to get something in return. Amen. Hmm. Love is the desire to give. And we were commanded by the apostles, by the Holy Ghost speaking to the apostles, to love one another, even as he loved us. Same book, same, you want to read it, read on the fourth chapter book. We were told to be willing to lay down our life for the brother. Man. But most people, they don't even know what that means. But they've never really seen it. And then some people, when they see it, they can't believe it. I've had people tell me that, you, you know, you can't be real. I've had people tell me that. Because they didn't understand that I was just trying to be like Jesus. Amen. Man. I wasn't doing it for their sake. I'm trying to do what Jesus would do. Amen. What would Jesus do, Val? Love him. Love him. What are you supposed to be doing? Love, love, love them. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, Peter was asked by the mouth. He said, oh, the mouth was told. He said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, Lord. Then Jesus asked him again. Now, I know some people say Jesus was ribbing him or rubbing it in, putting salt in the wound. But Jesus was getting to a point. Right. So he asked him again, say, each time that he asked him, most people don't know, it was three different types of love. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He asked him again the second time, he said, yes. Then he asked him that third time, he said, Lord, thou knows. Yes. Because when he got to the third type of love, he was talking about the kind of love that we're talking about today. Mm. The God kind of love. Mm. In other words, do you love me enough to give up your life for me? Mm. Mm. Lord. You know, I, I, y'all may not understand it, but it's some, I, sometimes I think I'm not sensitive to God. And I'll be saying I'm not sensitive enough, and I keep asking God to renew me sensitive heart and spirit to Him. I might be stopped, but sometimes I sense Him so well I can't hardly function physically. That's what I say. So God wants us to look. See, the book said that, what, 6th chapter book of Ephesians, or 5th chapter, of I can't say, be you followers of God, mm -hmm. and dear little children, and walk in love. Mm -hmm. See, until we understand that we've been bought and paid for, and we don't have an option, we will keep on thinking that we got an option, Amen. and choosing not to. But I realize that he's Lord, And when he said, love ye one another, mm. even as I have loved, even as, even as, even as I have loved you, he didn't give me a choice. Nope. Man. God, God. Jesus. Woo. Somebody's going to preach this so I can read you. <laughs> so he didn't give me a choice. Amen. It was a command. That's right. But today, most people in the church world think it's a choice. Yeah. Now, if you want to go to heaven, it's a command. Amen. Amen. Now, if you want to live with Jesus the rest of eternity, you're going to have to make up your mind you're going to do what he said because he's not going to be your servant. Amen. Woo! He Lord. came to serve so that you can become like him. Amen. Now that it has been accomplished, it's time for you to serve. Amen. That's why Paul said in Ephesians also in that fifth chapter, he said, by love, serve Amen. one another. Hmm. And when you talk to a world full of selfish folk, you're going to stir up something. Yes, Lord. He's trying to get something. No, I'm always giving something. Amen. Why, Pastor? Why are you always giving something? Because that's who I am. Amen. And say, that's who he is. That's who he is. That's who you're supposed to be. Yeah. What? Walk in love. Why? Oh, love, go to fourth chapter first. Now. Some verse said, Beloved, let us love one another. 
For love is of God. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Love is of who? Love God. 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 So that means if I got God in me and I'm of God, I should be able to work. Love God. Love. Hallelujah. And ain't nobody sitting up in here that's been born again, and I know you've been born again. But tell me, you can't love. Mm -hmm. You choose not to. Mm -hmm. I mean, even sinners can love, but they choose not to. Why? Because of their nature. Mm -hmm. They don't. They, they, they don't know any better. Mm -hmm. They think they got an option. Mm -hmm. Jesus commanded us to love our enemies. Yeah. Sound like you got an option? Yeah. Because you got an option to, to not love somebody would be who? Yeah. Your enemy. Yeah. But since he told us to love our enemies, we ain't got an option not to love. Yeah. So when do you stop loving? Yeah. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still, you're still talking to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Never. When you got an option to stop loving? Never. You know something about love? The Bible said love works no ill toward its neighbor. Amen. So you're never going to do anything to offend or hurt your neighbor when you're walking in love. Amen. Yeah. And somebody asks, who is my neighbor? Whoever you need, whoever need help. Yeah. Let me read on with it. Y'all didn't get that part about it. So it says, beloved that is love one another, the love is of God, and everyone that loves us. Everyone that loves us is born of God and know of God. So how do you know people know God? By their love. How shall they know that you are my disciples? By the love you have one for another. That's what Jesus said in Saint John. So if Jesus told us the only way the world would know we are disciples is that we love one another, and we walk around here hating on each other, rejecting each other, despising each other, talking about each other, criticizing each other, putting each other down, let me leave them alone. Should have been down that day. <laughs> So I said I will use it. <laughs> but I don't that. Wow. Well, to show you how to really solidify yourself in God. To fortify yourself in God. So he said, and everyone that loves is born of God. Mm -hmm. So if they don't love, that means they weren't born of God. Amen. Y'all got it? Amen. Now here's something else that's so powerful. Because they take everything else in the world and try to talk about they knowing God and having a relationship with God. They God this and God that. But he said if they don't love, they don't even know God. Mm. I know that ain't what he said. He said, and they know of God. But if they don't love, that means they don't know God. Oh. Did I write this? Mm. Ain't that what he said in the next verse? Mm. He that love of not, he that self sin, care about nobody but themselves, use another folk for themselves. Manipulating and manipulating the people so they can get stuff out of them for themselves. They don't know God. You know why I tell y'all the truth? Because I love you. Yeah. I, I studied, God put me in the book. I studied the book. I read the book. God Himself told me to get in there and stay in there, but whatever He said is in there. And whatever He's going to say is in there. I got in there. I found out something, y'all. You're going to do it His way. You ain't going with him. So why did I tell people the truth? I found that out. There is no other way. Period. Why are you so sure? I've been to heaven. I've been to hell. I want to go back to heaven. Y'all missed that connection. I know you did. I know you missed that connection. I wish you would have caught it. So I do what I do. Because I want to be there. And when he come back to the earth, I'm going to be with him. Not him say depart from you, work of iniquity. Mm -hmm. So he said, he that love us not, don't know God. For God is love. So you know the body of Christ because they love one another. Amen. Hello? Hello? Amen. Now watch it. And this was manifest the love of God's water because that God sent his only begotten son. He did something. Yeah. Did y'all get that? Amen. That's the 16th verse of the third chapter of St. John right there. He did something. Yes. Yeah. Well, how do we know Jesus loves us? Because he did something. Yes. Hallelujah. How do we know the Holy Ghost loves us? Because he did something. Amen. He regenerated you. Amen. Why did why did so he sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. 
So the life that we now live in the flesh, we should be living by the faith of the Son of God who gave himself for us. Amen. The life that we now live in this body and this earth, we should be living by the faith of the Son. What is the faith of the Son of God? What was his faith, y'all? What was Jesus' faith? That God would do what he told him he was going to do. That's beautiful. I'm going to say that. He believed that God would do what he said he would do. That was Jesus' faith. He believed in God, the Father. Mm -hmm. He trusted the Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. That made me want to holler right there, but mm -hmm. I didn't want to do something freeze. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to skip my mind. Do you understand how powerful that is? God mm. had to trust in God. Mm. He committed unto himself and to him that judges righteously. He trusted that the Father would do what he said. But he was God. He knew he was going to do it, did he? Mm. But he believed. Do you believe? So herein is the love. Herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. Wow. Mm. That's awesome. Let me tell you why that's awesome. If you remember what Jesus said, if you love only those that love you, mm. what reward, what reward have you? But if you love those that don't love you, then are you the children of your Father, mm. which is in heaven. Now, what did that verse just say? Here's in is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. Mm. Jesus said, herein, if you do this, you love those that don't love you, then are you the children of your Father, which is in heaven. So that goes all the way back to the beginning and said everything reproduces after its kind. So it's, it goes back to the earlier verse where it said, if we love not, then we don't, we're don't. we not born of God, we don't know God. But he that is born of God loves us. Why? We love because we are begotten of a God who loves us. When we don't love, it's a revelation that we have not been born of that God. My Savior. Lord. My Redeemer. Amen. God so loved that he gave. So if you truly love, what you going to do? You yeah. going to give. Yeah. If you're struggling to give, if you're struggling to serve, it's because you're going against what's in you. Amen. So that is a testimony that you haven't been regenerated yet. You haven't been born Amen. again. And you need to come to Christ and bow your knee to his Lordship. Amen. Thank you. Everybody mark that because I'm about to get all, you know, you get a little old, you get a little, you ramble. So I'm about to ramble. I'm telling you every time I'm going to ramble. <laughs> I share this with you because I love you and I think the time is so short. And, you know, and the way I talk, the way I do things sometimes, somebody might try to kill me. If the Lord does let them kill me, I ask them to let me preach to them and testify to them before I die. Amen. I get the monitor cramp. But the other day I was talking to Daddy about a text I was reading. And it was St. John 15 and 3. Now we're clean through the word which he has spoken unto us. Y'all hear me? Amen. And I know a lot of related scriptures to that, but I stopped right there because I, I was seeing something. Now we are clean through the word. So that, that the word is translated in the scripture when it's talking about God and the scripture is talking about two words. It's logos and rhema. Rhema is that specific word spoken to a person in that specific situation at that specific time. So I was thinking that when it said now you're clean through the word which I've spoken unto you. That he was talking about rhema. It wasn't. It was logos. Mm. And some people want to say logos is the written, no, 
No, logos is the manifestation of the word. Amen. Mm. So when I was saying, Lord, well, how did then you know you know the Lord is so good. I call a friend of mine, and I and I always know it's almost I don't even know what it is. It just stuff about when I bounce stuff off of him. He don't tell me. I didn't understand why I worked like that. But when I bounced stuff off of him, a gift would kick in. And I hear the Lord talking through me what I needed to know. Isn't it awesome? Amen. So if I talk to you on this level, it don't seem like it, it don't happen. Cause, mm -hmm. Probably because I'm your overseer. You know what I mean? But when I talk to somebody that's on my level, it'll bounce to something higher. Mm. I don't understand how that works. It didn't work like that. So all of a sudden it hit me. It was actualization, realization, manifestation, the forming of. And that, 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 that thing hit me so hard, I realized what he was saying. It's not just hearing the word preach. It's when you let that word get into your spirit and it germinates and begins to take on form and shape. That's when it makes you free from sin. Amen. That's when it cleans you up. So if it never get in, it won't make you clean. What they got to do with you saying that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> if you let what I'm saying right now get into you, you'll stop hating. Amen. You'll stop being bitter. You'll stop being resentful. You'll stop being grudgeful. Mercy. I, I have to catch myself here. I have to laugh sometimes. Get cramped. You know, the, the eight man was so pathetic. I got this. <laughs> Thank God we have one eight man. <laughs> Maybe two eight man, three eight man, three. But you'll stop and learn how. Amen. Let this get in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To let stuff go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Did you hear me? So he said, he said, here it is love that not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the perpetuation for our sin. He did so. Mm -hmm. We claim we love. And you get preachers preaching love. Mm -hmm. No, I'm scared of not preaching. They're the most bigoted, bigoted and prejudiced and hateful people I ever want to meet in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you only love those that love you. Mm -hmm. And that's them talk about love, mm -hmm. tell everybody love, mm -hmm. but when they put to the test, mm -hmm. let me let me explain something that, that I had to learn. Yeah. people communicate on different levels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can be talking to you, and to me, I'm not saying anything derogatory or negative. I'll be a real time, but because of the way you communicate. You take it the wrong way. Y'all follow me? Do y'all know love is not easily offended? Lord! If you're quick to be offended, stop trying to tell anybody else to love when you can't love. Amen. Amen. The thing that is so so powerful in what I just told you is that. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, has taken residence in the heart of every born again believer. And the scripture tells me that if I have placed my hope and faith in Christ, that it would not be made ashamed. God would not disappoint me. The Spirit of God was shed abroad in my heart. His love. You understand what they're saying? If I act on my so-called confession of faith, of loving people, thank you, Lord. He's not going to let me come up disappointed and at a loss. He's going to show me 
that he cares for me. So I don't have to worry about feeling like I lost something because I love you. Amen. See, I'm not, if it's love, I'm not going to be your baby anyway. Amen. What do you mean by that? I'm not looking for you reciprocated mm -hmm. to love me in return. Mm -hmm. If it's the love of God, I'm loving you for love's sake. Amen. But God is saying to me, even if it costs you, son, your life, mm -hmm. I'm not going to let that be a loss to you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Friend of mine said to me, those things. He said, you can't talk to people on your level, can you? I said, nope. <laughs> he says a whole lot of stuff God will reveal to you, and you and the Lord be talking about. And he's a prophet, man. He said, and you and the Lord be talking about, you can't talk to other people like that. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I know. And it's true. Because let me, let, me, let me explain something y'all may not know. When you come into the body of Christ, you are a baby. Amen. Amen. I don't think most of us know that. Thank you. I think some people think that when they got born again, they was completely an adult in the Lord. <laughs> no. When you got born again, you're a baby. You know what a baby can do? Nothing. Nothing. But whine and cry and throw tantrums and throw fits. Pastor, you need to say, I'm going to say it because I don't know. It's all about the baby. <laughs> Whenever it's all about you, don't ask nobody about your spiritual growth. I don't care if you've been in the church 80 years. If it's all about you, and all you ever think about what people are doing to you, and what they're not doing for you, you never grew. You still a baby. Did you get it? Did you get it? So I understand that when I'm, I'm talking on certain levels, People can't get this. God told me at the early stage of my development in Him, walk down the middle of the room, Man. turn out to the right hand or the left, and love no matter what. Man. Man. Y'all understand that? He said, love no matter what. But that no matter what means. What they do to you don't matter. What they don't do for you don't matter. What they do, I don't do. Has nothing to do with what I told you to do. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Soak. Now, if you get cold, y'all turn to the Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying? God made me know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Son, I don't care what they do to you, what they say about you, how they treat you. I told you to love. Don't you do. To them, what they do to you. Amen. Amen. And so y'all hear me all the time saying, people going around talking about do unto others, you have them do unto you. And they, they misquote what they say, because they're acting the same. They tell you, do unto others that they do to you. Uh -huh. By the way they live. Uh -huh. By the way they conduct themselves. You know what I'm saying? Slap me if you will. I heard preachers say, I'm going to put slap me. And they tell them their congregation this. Yeah. So what are they teaching their congregation? To be contrary to the spirit of Christ. Mm -hmm. To reject the spirit of Christ. Because the spirit of Christ ain't going to tell you. Now he might tell you to heal somebody who will slap them. Mm -hmm. They may have a big old stuff on the side of their face. And, and the Holy Ghost say, I want you to go there and slap them in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, 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 what, 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 what? Mm -hmm. Lord, you sure that's you? That's the God will never say that. Ah. Ah, you don't know. There's a deacon. There's a deacon. There's a deacon. Mm. 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 In the last century, powerfully used by God mm. to get people healed. Powerfully used by God. Everybody really that came to him to get healed got healed. Nobody went to be You know what God had him doing to a whole lot of people? Punching them. Now I stopped hitting them with his fist. Oh, yeah. Now don't y'all go out and do that thing and you hear from God. You better be sure you hear from God. I might not preach your film. <laughs> but this guy would hit people that have cancer, stomach, stomach cancer, and the stomach said, boom! Hall! And the cancer would disappear. 
Mm. I'm a real. This woman was brought into his service. This is another guy, preacher. And I don't know if he, who he heard that from. I don't know if he got it from the same guy or not, but this preacher done that. God anointed him. I can't remember his name, but uh, I almost remember his name. I'm not going to call him. But uh, they brought the woman to service. She couldn't. She couldn't even walk. They signed out the hospital. And the doctor made them sign a form saying that we're not responsible because she is on her deathbed. And she's not going to last much longer. But we're going to take it out into this revival where this healing preacher is. You know, you get that one. For real, everybody got scared because they thought he killed her. He hit the woman and she didn't get hit. Pick her up again. He hit her again. She fell down again. You know she did by now, right? Picked her up again. He hit her this time again. Oh. Bounced up here, running around, screaming and hollering. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Do not go out and try to do this. Amen. God didn't tell me he called you to do that and anointed you to do that. Amen. I'm just using a story. Amen. Amen. That most people look at me in harsh, cruel, yeah. and cold. But the reality of it was, God was using this man to drive that spirit out of her. Mm -hmm. And once that spirit left, she was free. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. An act that we thought was not love mm -hmm. was the most mm -hmm. purest love. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it seems like love hurts. But when a person really loves you and they're trying to help you, they're not going to sit back and watch you kill yourself. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? If you got something in your hand that's going to hurt you, a person that loves you will knock it out. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you're doing something that you ain't got no business, it's going to lead you the wrong way, a person that loves you will tell you about yourself. Amen. That's not what this generation believes. Mm. And if it drops the boat, if it would cause contention, if it would cause an adverse reaction from that person, they're not going to do it. But it would be the very act of love that's going to save their life. And you're afraid to do it because you're scared of how they go to hell. Now, I'm not talking about you guys making up stuff in your head. I'm talking about you know for a fact that you need to do this. To save their life, to save their soul, but you're afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. Fifth chapter, Galatians. If you see your brother taking in a fault, he said, You were the spiritual, restore them. Amen. 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 In the spirit of meekness, fearing that you also yourself be tempted. That's not scripture I'm going to. Okay. That's not scripture I'm going through. I quoted that scripture to you so you know it. Fifth chapter of Galatians and the sixth verse. Are y'all with me? Amen. I'm with you. I hope you're there. But in Jesus Christ, did the circumcision of a veil of anything? Not uncircumcision, but what did it say? But faith was worker by love. Now do you understand why I said this is part of fortifying yourself? Hello? In Christ. So without faith, it's impossible to please God. By not walking in love, you paralyze your Faith. You stop it from working. Period. People wonder why things ain't working out for my baby. Check up on your love walk first. If you know that your heart is free of malice or ill will or bitterness or resentment or unforgiveness towards somebody, then then move to something else. But if you're not sure, 
Get on your knees and pray through to you sure that you have no offense in your heart toward anyone. Amen. And once you've done that, then you can move on to something else. But most people don't even check that out first. Man. They either, I mean, some people, so I don't even know what, some people immediately start doubting God. Mm -hmm. God can't lie. Nobody ever told you that? It's impossible for God to lie. Because he's the creator. How did he create everything? By his word. If God said it, guess what? It is because the word created it. You know, I can stay right there for another two, three, or four hours. So that, that really is a big problem with a lot of people. Because just because it don't work, you don't mean it, got, it ain't true. Amen. You need to examine yourself and see whether you be in the faith. Because God can't lie. It's impossible for God to lie. He said, so shall my word be that go for light of my mouth. It will not return to me more. He said his word, but it comes to them which I plead and prosper in the things which I sent in. The Bible even said that angels excel in strength. Hopping into the voice of God's word. The voice of his word. And he's in one with you. The voice of his word. You understand what I just said? The angels are listening for the voice of the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Carrying out God's commandments. So it didn't say they were looking for God to say it. It said it was listening for the voice of the word. So they standing there, and I told y'all earlier, and camp round about you. God gave them charge over you to keep you in all your way. Oh. They're standing there waiting on you to say what God said. Amen. Because they hearken to the voice of his word. Amen. Then carry out what the word said. Amen. Did y'all hear that? Did you get it? So the problem is, don't ever let the devil make you think God lied because it didn't work for you. There's a reason why it didn't work. If any man, man lack wisdom, the way they say, let him ask of me who liber liberally and upbraid him not. Let him ask in faith nothing wavering. Amen. The problem is that we don't want to think that it might be us. Amen. And it may not be you. Because it's involving somebody else, they got to believe you. Amen. They got to line up. You follow what I'm saying? But it's nobody but you. And I like it when it be like that. Ain't nobody else said that, Lord. <laughs> so I know your, your, your place of growth. Oh. I located you just in oh. your baby. Yeah. You think it's all about you. Yeah. But see, I like it when it's nothing but, it's, it's, it's nobody else involved in this situation but me. Yeah. It's easy for me to get it resolved. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Woo! Glory. Is it time to share that with you? No, you know, miracles happen all the time. I share them passing and mm, 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 mm. I, I share one with y'all. The recent, recent one. Miracle. So last week, no, we are in another week. We full that. My car started acting up. It got those air rides on. They told her no one had it. Did y'all hear me? So it went down. Did y'all hear me? So most of y'all saw I came to church with a. Uh, uh, Run car, right? When that car was in the shop, mine was in the shop. But Sunday, what car did I drive? My car, right? The very little week before that. And it went down. Y'all hear me? It went down. It wouldn't come back up. So I had to pause. And I didn't drive it to the sun. See, that's the problem. That's the problem right there. See, if you love me, you would rejoice with me. How did I drive it Sunday as it went down? If it had stayed down, I wouldn't have drove it. Right. What it was, God tested it and it went back up and stayed up. Hallelujah. Now, now I had ordered the pause. Listen to me, I had ordered the pause. See, y'all think God is going on vacation. I'm trying to tell you he's not. I had ordered the pause, but it hadn't come in yet. So I was waiting for the part to come in instead of going to get it fixed, okay? Mm -hmm. The part was supposed to come in Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I drove my car to work Monday. 
I'd have to work money because they didn't go back. They stayed up. Now watch this. Bob will come in Tuesday. I drove my car to work Tuesday. I went to lunch, and the, and the, the UPS man don't do me like this. He always, he know what time I go to lunch. He always comes either before I went to lunch, after I come back from lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that was that day. <laughs> I went to lunch and came back, and a stick was on the door. I got ready to leave to go home that afternoon. Guess what my car had done? Dropped back down. Dropped back down. The devil tried to stop me. God blessed me because he knew I wanted to come drive. I to drive a car to church Sunday. Car mm -hmm. went back up, acting like it was supposed to act, had no problem. Thank you, Lord. Monday had no problem proving that God had done it. Amen. It wasn't a fluke. <laughs> went to work Tuesday morning, still up. I was waiting on the party to come. Knew it was coming Tuesday. I knew it was coming because I got, you know, got the little text of what y'all call it. Notice. And my UPS man always need to come before I go or after I come back. Because they know what time I go to. Some reason somebody else must have been driving that day. He showed up after I went to lunch. And then guess what happened? The grace that God had gave me for the weekend was gone. So I looked at that and I said, Lord, look at you. Hallelujah. <laughs> it had nothing to do with anybody else but me alone. God always moved for me. Because yeah. I always know how to get the mess out of the way. Everybody, the sound of my voice ought to be losing their mind right now because you just got delivered and you don't know it. Lord. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If he don't deliver you, if he don't heal you, if he don't bless you, and you call on him, there's a mess in the way. Get it out of the way. Amen. And normally it's your attitude. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. So maybe I just don't have to say the devil is, but I got to tell it to every man. Every man. Amen. Romans 12 and 3, if you don't read it. Be measure of faith. Hallelujah. So if you ever heard the word of God preached at any time, you got faith. Amen. Amen. The only problem is something's hindering your faith. Amen. Hello, let me read that six verse one more time. But in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision avails of anything, nor uncircumcision, but what avails in Christ? Faith. 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 Which work of my love. Amen. So nothing going to move Jesus but faith. Amen. And if you let your love walk get messed up, hmm. May God have mercy on you. Because not only, remember I teach you about uh, being fortified, fortifying yourself in Christ. Remember the, the shield of faith that you both take up, six chapter book of Ephesians? You both, the shield of faith, the shield of what? Shield of faith. So if your shield is down, because you're not walking in out of faith work. Uh -huh. And love is not what you say. First John, third chapter, 18 verse. It's not what you say, it's what you do. But God so loved the world that he gave, that he sent his son. Amen. Amen. Well, not in word and tongue, but in deed and in truth. So if the shield is down, what does that mean? The enemy can get to you. So it is very important, very necessary, extremely necessary for your safety that you stay in the love of God. Mm. Thank you. What you mean by that? I ain't talking about God loving you, I'm talking about you loving others with the love of God. Amen. And don't let nobody whitewash it, sugarcoat it, and try to water it down. Amen. You either are or you're not. Amen. It ain't no middle road, it ain't no in between. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. I didn't get into a whole lot of details about how love works and what because love thinks no evil, seeks not its own, it's not even for you. I didn't get into all that. Amen. I shared with you about because this is the thing that the enemy has done to the church world. Mm -hmm. This is why we are defeated before this onslaught of wickedness. Yes. Uh -huh. Because our faith has been perfect. Mm -hmm. But we missed it. That love thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The devil might have meant for y'all to celebrate that fault of God today. 
But I want to use, you know, that day to turn you back to the truth and living. Lord. Thank you, Lord. He proved he loved you. He didn't ask you for nothing. He asked you hello, to come to him. Yes. And he would give you rest. Yes. Hello, somebody. Every day, Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you. Father, we glorify you. I thank you for what you've done for us. Now, help each and every one in this house to receive that word, that it may form, that it may actualize, that it may materialize, that there be the child that loves like the Father loves. I give you all the glory and all the honor. Yes, Lord. But that seed will not go out and come back home, but it will accomplish and put that which you please. It is prospering right now with everything you send it to be. In Jesus' precious name, Yeshua, I pray. And everyone said amen. Amen. Amen, amen again. Amen. And if you hadn't got it right in your heart, but you've been hard with this, I'm going to say one more thing. Let it go. For your sake. You know, people, people don't understand this. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they wrong. But by you holding on to it, you're giving the devil power to go out. Mm. Forgive him and let it go. Brother and sister, my friend and my neighbor, it is not worth it. Children, it is not worth it. But even me, I know it ain't worth it. So I said this one time and I will continue to say, I'm a lover of my word. You can whatever you want to do. That's you. You want to kill me? Kill me. I'm here. I'm going to be with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Talk about me the way you want to do. <laughs> as much as you please. The more you talk about me, <laughs> but that's all right to say, the more I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Not that God kill you. Amen. Not that God take you out because you're my brother and sister the Lord. Amen. I'll never do that. Amen. I'll pray that he show you the truth. Let me see yourself. Amen. That you may repent and be saved. Amen. 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 Hopefully Amen. save a brother or sister from hell. And if you want to go to hell, don't love him. Mm. Period. He said in the last days, because the nickel shall abound, love of men. The love of men go wax cold. Why? Because why? Because sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a whole lot of reasons not to love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. People always doing stuff, saying stuff, mm -hmm. getting in your way. Mm -hmm. Amen. But actually, you ought to think about this. Well, maybe they're in my way because I'm here for them. Amen. Amen. I'll, I'll just say that one more time. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Whenever somebody get in your way and they cause you problems, <laughs> remember the love of God. Yes, in his way. <laughs> maybe you're here for them. Yeah. The only reason why you're on that job, the only reason why you're in that store, the only reason why you was in that car, the only reason why you was at that house, because you were there to show them the love of God. Amen. How love really acts when it's mistreated. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. The only Jesus they're going to ever see Amen. is the Jesus they see in us. Amen. And if we never show them Jesus, when they see Jesus, it's going to be too late. Amen. So don't be the one that failed to show them the Lord are the one that caused them not to look to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Say, you ain't stumbling over me. Look at them and say, you ain't stumbling over me. Ain't over me. Amen. Amen. I ain't gonna be the one got their leg out. <laughs> if anything, I'll be the one pushing that other leg out. Mm -hmm. If anyone, I'm, I'm gonna be the one that filled up that hole. Amen. Amen. That moved that log. Right. Got that rock out the way. Amen. 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 So that's what he called us to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, we already prayed this. Oh, we got to take off now. Oh, yeah. thank God for your Facebook. Thank God for your YouTube. We appreciate you tuning in streaming. I, I, I love everyone that will be praying for you continually. You can believe that. Amen. And we thank God for all of you that have sent in offerings by David Cash App and Mayo. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're on our prayer list. We keep you for the Lord. Call you by name. So anything that you're not covered, you cover. In Jesus' name. So we appreciate everything you've done. Already remember that your soul, you'll reach 30, 60, 100 folks according to your faith. 
but you go reap. So it is you should honor your father. Amen. 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 So everything you do for us, we appreciate it. It goes into the ministry. Y'all keep on doing what we do. We're doing greater things. Like I said earlier, we support ministers around the world. We feed the homes, we clothe the naked, we shelter the homes, we care for the orphans and the widows. Somebody say, well, I don't see no orphans in there. We support other people that are doing it. That's how we do it. Amen. It's a whole lot harder for us to get out there and do it with a little bit of money y'all give us. <laughs> so we take a little bit y'all give us and we give it to other people so they can do that kind of work and keep doing it. Not just, not just around, but in the United States too. But you'd be surprised how tough it is in some places in America where all these multi-millionaires are being made. Mm -hmm. So if you want to continue to do so, again, the cash app is the dollar sign, LOB3921. Want to mail it in like money or a check, PO Box 769, Delta, South Carolina, 29536. Make it out the love of the ministry. And you know if you want to write off any tax, it is tax deductible. We are 501c3. Whatever you say that thing ministry. Amen. But I, I, I admonish you, I, I, I encourage you, don't give for that reason. Amen. If you want to tap into the 36 and 100 fold, give because you love God. Amen. Love the ministry. We believe in what we're doing. But we're going to keep on saying and doing what God said and do. We're never going to lie. We're never going to take away from what God said. We're never going to add to what God said. We'll say just what he said. Because he's proven to me that it works just like that. Now, next year, we'll see if God will nothing happen. Wednesday night. Hallelujah. Thank God for you, my Herb.